Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, menopause, dyslexia, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Kind of Sewer, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So thank you for joining me today for another episode of Cannabis in TV Shows. I am consistently doing a review on each character in the TV show Orange is the New Black. There does happen to be a cannabis partaking in this TV show. So um, look at my past videos that I've done for this show where I just pick out the characters that stood, that stood out to me and do a review about them. Um, I got online to review the character I'm going to be talking about today just to get some basic um, background information about this actress. The thing is, is that um, these reviews aren't just about, oh, this is a great show. I made me laugh and blah, blah, blah. No, there's something psychological going on with the kind of shows that they're making in Hollyweird. And choosing to put cannabis cannabis in the mix is just, it's no, um, there's no coincidence. So, um, yep. For reals, okay, let's roll some joints here. I get a combination of two strains on my plate. I've got some Durban Poison and that strain called Green Crack, which I don't like the name of. Yes, I will always say that, you know, <laughs> that I don't like that name because I don't. It doesn't represent what the strain is all about. So, people think that's funny, but it's not. Some people are really seriously addicted to crack, and it's not funny. But see, the thing is, Hollywood makes it funny. Hollywood pokes fun at people's addictions to the extreme, to the point where people think that what Hollywood is presenting, say, a person with PTSD, somebody with bipolar disorder, people will think that everyone acts in that manner. Everyone has those kind of characteristics just from watching it being represented on the idiot box. <laughs> So yeah, let's get this going on. Hope you guys are having a good day. Morning, noon, or evening. I was up for quite a while last night. Because <laughs> as you saw in my other videos, <laughs> where I was talking about that elixir um, stuff that you put, THC elixir that you put in your drinks, um... It finally hit me, and you can watch the videos, and, and you'll see what I mean by that. <laughs> I did a bit of an experiment with the elixir, so... Yeah. I'm not advising people to do it, but it's nothing that any cannabis partaker probably hasn't thought about themselves doing, so... As far as... As far as a topical. It's kind of noisy, a little bit noisier around here, because, um... It's Friday. <laughs> People are amped up and it's warmer outside, so. Alright. Here we go. Let's see here. Alright. Alright, let's smoke this, baby. Let's see if you got enough on the tray for another one if I so dare to roll another one. Okay. So let me light it up and then I'll grab my notes. I can't figure out where I put my notes. Here they are. I'll grab the notes and then light this up. <laughs> Brightest blessings to everyone. Thank you for joining today. I really appreciate each and every one of you that comes by to my channel. And I really appreciate the love and support. If you want to donate, you can go to my PayPal or my Google Pay. In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you. Like this cute guy. I'm still working on him. Little Rasta man. Or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, let's get on with it. <laughs> let's light it up. Let's get elevated and talk about this show. Oh, yeah. Sometimes all you need is one, one draw. Um, I'm drinking this stuff called Lassie. It's blueberry Lassie made with cashew milk. Um, it's delicious and it's great for the, um, the digestive system and has probiotics to help with your immune system. 
So with my tooth and all that that's been going on, this is perfect to keep my immune system tight, you know. So, so you get help. It's like a yogurty tasting drink. It tastes um, similar to kefir, but not as strong of a sour taste to it as kefir. So, all right. I would go and get it, but it doesn't matter for me to go get it. I can show you on another show if you're really interested. So I'm going to puff one more time and get into this review. Alright. So the character I'm reviewing today is the character by the name of Natalie Figueroa. Her nickname is Fig. They call her Fig. She started off when they presented her in the TV show as the warden of the prison in Litchfield, Litchfield Prison. So um, let me tell you a little bit about the character that plays Natalie Figueroa. Her name is Al Alicia Reiner. So she was in Orange is the New Black from 2013 to 2019. Uh, Alicia was born in Gainesville, Florida. Um, she started in a financial drama called Equity which was bought at Sundance by Sony Picture Classics and released nationwide. It is, it is now developed into a TV series by TriStar and ABC. Reiner has appeared in several off-Broadway plays and won an Obie Award for her performance in Oak Tree. She played District Attorney Wendy um, Parks in the ABC crime legal drama TV series How to Get Away with Murder and Sunny in the FX comedy Better Things. In 2014, she also appeared in season four of Masters of Sex on Showtime. Um, as Lillian Izikoff, Izikoff on Rosewood, and Trina <laughs> in Michael Showalter's TBS series Search Party. Yeah, it's always weird when I here, my a character with the name, my name in it. So let's see. So here's the nonprofit organization she supports. You get a, more of an idea what these people are about. Um, she supports the cancer community, uh, the cancer support community, actors for autism, the stu the stuttering association for the young bent on learning, safe kids worldwide, the young women's leadership network. Amnesty International, Cool Effect, Election Defenders. So, this lady is, is busy. <laughs> she's doing a lot. And um, she's donating to profit uh, organizations that she feels deems uh, worthy and that'll help. So, all right. Mm. Woo. So, um, let me put my notes over here. I don't think I need that right now. So yeah, this this character of um, <laughs> Figueroa, Natalie Figueroa, she's a really tall woman, really slender, um, long, long legs, and she is playing in the beginning of the series, The Warden, and she comes in like she's, <laughs> she kind of slinks in here, she's got a skirt on, and uh, really high heels on. She's already tall. She's got really high heels on, stepping up into the prison, giving the inmates, the new inmates, an introduction of herself. And <laughs> it just was funny, man, watching that lady because she comes in and presents herself. I'm here for you women. I'm a woman. You pretty much like how she was saying, I'm a woman, so I understand woman's needs. And then <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And then one of the prisoners, uh, I think, it was, yeah, it was the character, uh, Dianara. She says, I, actually, I have some questions. And she said, well, this is just the, um, what was it? This was just the, uh, what do you call those? Um, I don't know, I can't think of the word right now. Pretty much she said, well, this was just uh, kind of like, you know, the introduction when people go to a new place to work. Obviously, this is <laughs> this is in that kind of situation, but you know what I mean. They go to a new place to work, and they pretty much tell you what how it's gonna go. That's what Natalie Figueroa was doing, but 
she's not she wasn't really that dedicated to really helping the prisoners there because she was really more focused on her husband who was running for office in the election coming up i think governor is what he was running for and um her story is sad it is it's really sad i mean um <laughs> I'll just give you some basics about her without telling you the whole whole and everything of her, which you can find out about if you go to Netflix and check out the uh, TV show. But um, she comes off as very confident in the beginning of the seasons, and then li little by little, her mask is revealed, that she's very insecure, that she was at one point when she was uh, younger, a younger adult, I think, or late teen, she told a story about how <laughs> she went to go see Bruce Springsteen in concert. And um, <laughs> she's trying to say that she was at the same uh, concert that that one woman from Friends, what was her name again, with the brown, dark brown hair? I don't watch Friends, but how can you help see not see these people? Not Jennifer Aniston, that other one. Um, anyway, you know what I'm talking about if you guys watch Friends or if you've seen it um, advertised, um, anyway, she said that, um, she went to that one concert, Bruce Springsteen concert, where they pulled up that girl onto stage, that actress on stage, and she wanted to be the one pulled up on stage, but she was overweight, um, and after that happened, she was so mad and furious at that actress that was able to get up on stage, she, uh, ended up, uh, losing a lot of weight. So, but what's weird about her character is that when they showed um, there's going to be a replacement for her as the warden, and they were replace her with this other guy, Joe Caputo, who I'll be talking to you about in the next video about uh, the characters from Orange is the New Black. Um, when he when she went to you know <laughs> when she was done you know with her job as a warden, she's moving on um, in her drawer. They found a whole bunch of, like, uh, candy wrappers. Tons of them. So, yeah. She's a really sad person. But she tried, she comes off, initially she comes off as being really strong and confident. And very overly sexual in nature. You know, overtly sexual in nature. Just through her movements. Like, she's trying to move to attract attention. <laughs> she's got a bit of a siren walk to her. Like, she, sometimes she was walking like she was on the catwalk or something. <laughs> so, yeah, this this is a very interesting character because in the beginning of the TV show, she doesn't really care about the prisoners that much. But then when it, cut, it cuts close to home, that's when she starts to care. I'm going to carry on with the second part because there's a little mo more that I want to talk to you guys about with this character. So, thanks for joining me. And also remember you can donate to my channel through PayPal or Google Pay. In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork like this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Ta -da. <laughs> or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you in part. Dos. <laughs>